and hello everyone welcome back to a new tutorial in this tutorial we'll be showing you how to play on different maps with player one versus player two multiplayer in sparking zero i'm not going to waste your time we'll jump right into it so first thing we want to do is we want to go to our steam and make sure you find this right here you need to be in your game then here we want a couple of things so this is on nexus mods the links will be in the description so if you want those you can easily go get them you want to click on manual and it requires these two so to get to them you can just click on them and it will open them up i already have them open here so make sure you have these two first so let's go and get them so here we have this one this bypasses signature for sparking zero which enables modding so we go to manual we go to slow download we say save Bob's your uncle and then we also need this one here which allows us to inject code into Unreal Engine games so here we just scroll down and oh it's a readme uh, you'll probably not be on this page but if you are you just go to releases then you scroll down and we just select this .zip file And now that we have those two, we can just click download here and say slow download. Bob's your uncle. Now we have both. Now in your game here, you want to say manage, manage, browse local files. If you do not have this button, go to properties, installed files, and then browse. So you can choose either one of those two. Then open up another instance of your file manager, put one on the side, put one on the side, and go to your downloads. So you'll see you have a zip, couple of zip files here. You'll need to extract them, or you can just open them up and drag these out of the extract. However, I like to extract them, so I'm going to extract to each separate folder. There we go. First thing you want to do is you want to back up your files, maybe. Optional, not really required, but it's always a good one if you do. If I go to Sparking Zero, Binaries, Win64, and in here, you want to go to this right here. So the Signature Bypass. Select everything except the license. License you can also find there. It won't really do anything wrong. It's just the MIT license. And then you want to go to UE4SS. You want to also select everything. I'm going to unselect readme and changelog then i'm going to throw this in here there we go so now mods are enabled and we can buy and we can like inject scripts now what you want to do and also note the game might crash and there's a fix for that at the end so if your game crashes watch the end of the tutorial as well then here with sparky zero we go to content so this will be all the way back here content packs and we just go into let's fight somewhere else and drag and drop this logic mod right here. We don't need any fancy mod folder, just drag and drop it right there. I'm going to open up the game. Battles offline one versus two. Then here you'll see we only have one map. However, if you press the M key on your keyboard, then you got all the maps you could ever want. Now I personally just love the islands so I'm gonna go there there we go and I'm gonna go evening yeah, I'm gonna click fight here now I can click aim to hide it however we cannot get back here so you can click as much as you want but you cannot get back here what you do is you just go to the side and then back so you go to BGM and back and then you say select character and we're gonna say no then yoink we start the battle all right, here we go. So we're in local player one versus player two, and we are on a different map than the hyperbolic time chamber. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Now I'm going to show you how to fix the crashing issues, and this will might also as well improve your performance. So with me, the loading screens are horrendous when this is not done. So if you want to do that as well, I highly recommend you follow me on this. So I'm going to exit the game. All right, once you have done that, you can just go here to Sparking Zero again, Binaries 164, and you're looking for this settings.ini. Now what I found 
is this right here. So this right here is very annoying because it is, uh, for some reason, makes the game really slow. As well as it sometimes it crashes the game. So I'm just going to turn this to false. Right. File. Make sure it's saved. If it's not saved, it's not going to reflect on your end. So save. Once you're saved, you can just close this out. Rerun it. And to me, loading is already 5 billion times faster by just doing that. I would recommend you do this as well if you're having a lot of long loading times. Like that took a couple of seconds where the previous one was really long. And again, we should work still the same. You can choose your thing like Platinamic. That's good. All right. And that's that. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you all again in the next tutorial.